is it really a stretch to think that he would go to uh, on the Lolita on the Lolita Express? Bill Clinton on the Lolita Express. That's like that's like poetry. My friendship totally terminated the day the accusations came out. You see that my uh, my uh, my friendship with him totally terminated the day he the allegations came out. I did serve as his lawyer. Oh, I did serve as his lawyer. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And who is he? Bruce Rivers, he's the criminal lawyer. And what he do? And he's gonna react to all the self snitching. Oh. Hi, this is Bruce Rivers. Welcome to another fun-filled episode of Criminally Reacts. I'm Bruce Rivers, and guess what I am? I'm your very own, your very personal board-certified criminal defense lawyer that you can rely on for all kinds of news of the day. And if you called me and needed help with the case, I could help you with that too. Today we're reacting to the news of Epstein. You know, there's a lot of documents that have come out, and um, there's some fact, there's some fiction, there's, you know, people's names are mentioned. And, you know, there's kind of a misnomer that just because your name is mentioned in these documents that somehow you've done something wrong. I mean, just because you've attended an orgy with underage girls, you know, like Stephen Hawking, maybe, does that mean you're a bad guy? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, t this is brought to you by eSign.com. eSign.com, a very effective way to remotely do business. Now, Let's say you're Glenn Maxwell and you're sitting and rotting away in a prison and you hate your lawyers because they screwed up during trial and now you're doing 20 years. Well, what do you do? I guess you got to file a 2255 after your appeal ex is exhausted because there's an ineffective assistance of counsel. Whatever you got to do, you need to use eSign.com because you can't leave your cell. eSign.com, very effective way to remotely do business. I use it all the time. You know, to be honest with you, eSign.com is really a, it's a way to sign a document remotely and so that you can get business done quickly and it doesn't matter what kind of document it is you can put it on any kind of document power of attorney retainer agreement release of information a business degree a business uh, document anything you can use to effectuate business esign.com very effective way to remotely sign a document because if it's not esign no one signs all right let's talk about little saint james island in uh, the u.s virgin islands this was an island owned by Jeffrey Epstein, or a home on the island. I don't know if he owned the whole island or not, but he, you know, he had a. I, and where did this guy get his money? Honestly, he was supposedly a hedge fund manager, but didn't like to be called one. This was a very vast, I think, blackmail operation. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, there's there's so much smoke. He he knew heads of state. He knew people who were. Uh, High-level politicians, royalty, people who are in academia. I mean, he he knew a lot of people and went to great lengths to make these connections and get these people in very compromising positions. And and to what end? To to what end? You know, if you look at one of the paintings he had up in his house, he had Clinton in a dress. And my understanding is he would have a dining room table covered with the American flag. Just a real kind of strange dude. But so recently, there have been, there's a lawsuit that was filed against Glenn Maxwell. And, in, and as part of that lawsuit, uh, there was a whole host of documents that were being held under seal. So right now, we've analyzed about 1,300 pages of the documents. And, and we're going to just kind of go through some of the people that are mentioned. Let me just play a clip real quick. What? Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. yeah, but before you judge me, know this. Yes, I was on the sex island, okay. but only for the snorkeling. I didn't know anything about the kid stuff. Oh. No, look, 95% of what went on down there was not pedophilia. Oh, yeah? No, the other 5%, that sullied the whole operation. That sullied the whole operation. 95% of it was snorkeling and having fun. But, you know, that other 5%, you know, uh, you know and he almost sounds like Alan Dershowitz here. I mean, you listen to Alan Dershowitz talk about, oh, once I heard about the allegations, you know, I'll play a little clip of, the, of that later. He said, once I heard about the allegations, I didn't want anything to do with him socially. So we'll, we'll play that right now. He was a guy from Brooklyn, Brooklyn Tony. Why are you not so certain about this? Because it, it does seem to have been an intelligence gathering operation of some kind or a compromise situation or a blackmail situation, something like that, surely. It's possible, but I never saw any evidence of that. 
he was a guy from Brooklyn, grew up in Coney Island. He was very curious. He wasn't as smart as he thought he was. He didn't know as much about science as he thought he did. But I can tell you that people like Steven Pinker and people like uh, Stephen Gould and people like uh, uh, the president of Harvard thought he asked good questions during the seminars that we all attended. Those seminars... I think go back a little bit to when Eric Weinstein was talking. Thank you, Vicky. Can I just come next to Alan Dershowitz? Um, thank you so much, Professor Dershowitz, for being with us. Um, first of all, of course, you were Epstein's lawyer at one point, and you were also named in these uh, released documents today. How do you respond to this? Well, first of all... The now, first, he is alleged to have had sex with uh, underage girls at Epstein's place, one of his homes. He denies it, he denies it, and uh, this is what he has to say. Well, the woman who accused me, he has now admitted that she may have confused me with someone else, may have been a case of mistaken identity, and she's uh, dropped all of her legal charges. I first met Jeffrey Epstein. I was introduced to him by the lady Rothschild, um, and uh, um, she asked me to meet him because he was a major contributor. Now, listen to this denial, because first of all, I, 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 I was introduced to him by the lady Rothschild, you know, in in other words, elevating, he comes to me from a very high source. You know, give me a fucking break. You know, you know he's got these houses. You, you know, I mean, and maybe you don't know initially, but eventually you do. And listen, listen to how he, he, he justifies his initial position and then distances himself later when things get a little south. Harvard, and uh, I agreed to meet with him and I went to some seminars that he conducted at Harvard, with the president of Harvard, with uh, major, major academic uh, uh, figures. But uh, from the day I met Jeffrey Epstein until the day he died, I have had sexual contact with one woman and one woman only, my wife. Why would he say that? I mean, I mean, I, I wouldn't even bring that up. I, who, and can you really want to think about him having sex with anybody? His naked body is not something anybody wants to think about or see. And so I was one of those who wanted these papers to be released. My disappointment is that only some have been released. I want I want them all released. I, it, it'll exonerate me completely. It's an easy thing to say. Everything to be released because they will confirm the fact that I did nothing wrong. And they would also shed light on other people who have been uh, accused, some truthfully, some, uh, falsely, some falsely. But um, the key point is that uh, we can't have just partial... Uh, releases of material. In many of these cases, the accusation is there, but the rebuttal is not there or the disproof is not there. So for the public to form a valid judgment, uh, you need a full release. I don't need that because in my case, the woman who accused me has admitted that she may have mistaken me for someone else. Keep in mind, she didn't say that he had sex with her. She said he had sex with somebody else there at, you know, at Little James Island. But I think others may very well need the full evidence to be exculpated and to prove that some don't want it because well, they may very well. On that very, just very quickly, I mean, President Clinton is mentioned more than 50 times in these documents. Uh, and let me just go back to Clinton being mentioned over 50 times. A, a statement is made in the documents that say that Clinton liked them young. But other than that, there is, um, there's really not, you're going to be, if you are looking for a smoking gun in the 1,300 pages that were released, you're going to be disappointed. And he maintains he never visited uh, Epstein's island. Uh, Donald Trump's also mentioned in there. But uh, should, do you think politicians and others should explain their exact links with Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah, for example, I'll give you a story. I was having dinner, this is a name dropping story, with Caroline Kennedy, the former president's daughter and her husband, and Bill Clinton, and another couple. And the phone rang. This was on Martha's Vineyard. And the Secret Service, he was president. The Secret Service gave him the phone. He went away, walked for about 15 minutes, had a vibrant conversation. I didn't hear it. Now, he's going to tell you in a second about how Clinton is somehow on the phone with uh, Jeffrey Epstein. And then he came back with the phone and saying, Alan, somebody wants to say hello to you. And he handed me the phone. It was Jeffrey Epstein. So... Uh, this was way before any accusations or anything was... But he wanted to talk to Alan. <laughs> what the fuck for? <laughs> ...suggested about Epstein, but obviously Clinton and mm. Epstein had a, had a friendship. And, and 
And clearly, he wanted to talk to you, Alan. I mean, you're denying that. Whole, I mean, you're overlooking the fact that he wanted to talk to you. <laughs> well, my friendship totally terminated the day the accusations came out. You see that? My, uh, my, uh, my friendship with him totally terminated the day he, the allegations came out. I did serve as his lawyer. Oh, I did serve as his lawyer. Really? But because uh, you got paid from him, you know, I mean, you knew what he did. I mean, he trafficked a fucking lot of little ladies, a lot of women, you know, young women, underage, constantly. He, here's the thing. When you have somebody that would be as prolific as Jeffrey Epstein was, do you know how hard that would be to represent somebody like that who is so repugnant? But evidently, Alan Dershowitz didn't have a, uh, a problem with it. Have, have while it will travel. Hey, just wanted to give you a reminder about step one. See, you know, my grandmother, God bless her soul, she's been in and out of everything and, and has really done me a favor. She knew my underwear were pinching. They were, I was chafing. I was uh, sweating. So what did she do? She went out and got me some step ones. And I've been wearing them ever since. Went to Alaska on my motorcycle, 8,500 miles. I skied uh, Jackson Hole. I don't chafe. I don't sweat. Why don't I chafe or sweat? And they're super comfortable. I'm wearing them right now. It's like I'm not even wearing nothing. They're high-performance underwear. They've got a, a Lycra panel so you don't chafe. They're made of this viscose fabric uh, derived from organic bamboo so you don't sweat. And they're super comfortable. It, it just nestles your goods just the way they're supposed to be. And you don't even think about it. So what I'd like you to do is order some right now. Whatever you feel comfortable. I, I suggest you order a bunch, but start with one or three and... I guarantee you, you won't be dissatisfied. If you get them and you don't like them, guess what? You, you got a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's not going to happen because what you're going to do is you're going to be like, oh, my God, these are great. I need to replace all of my underwear with step ones. Step one, get some. But never again socialize with them once I had heard these accusations. I think that's probably true of some people. Bullshit. In other cases, people continued to have a friendship with him even after he served his sentence in prison. And they do have some explaining to do but that doesn't prove guilty let, they let, prove just bad. and that's true but give me a break i mean the, why did you represent him then why did why did alan dershowitz represent you know and get him the, and keep in mind he didn't just re represent him kevin i ken star you know the i believe he they co-counseled on this case why the fuck would they do that? First of all, why would they need it? And why would they do it? And this was a Palm Beach case. He got 13 months, which he was allowed work release to go to his house and hang out and do whatever. 13 months for a sex trafficking case? Ridiculous. And it's a great result for uh, you know to settle the case in that manner. But Alan Dershowitz was never going to fucking try that case. Just There's just no he wasn't. And, and, and so that was a political handshake deal and if you remember that the prosecutor in that case was in the trump administration and wound up getting thrown out because of this deal with epstein epstein created a couple different things number one exotic locations you know he had a he had a new mexico ranch he had a manhattan townhouse uh, millions, but all these are worth millions of dollars. He had uh, a, a place in uh, Palm Beach, and then he also had this uh, amazing place at Little St. James Island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And when you think, and then he also had his plane, you know, little little what was it Lolita Express, he, the fucking Lolita Express. Who would get on that fucking plane with that name? Honestly, it looks so bad. It's sort of like uh, Gary Hart getting on the monkey business back in the day, you know, um, and being called out on it. So my point is, is that he's, he creates this, this, these luxury kind of locations. Then you know that, they, that there's you know, girls or sex going on in there. So he, he seduces these powerful men to come and uh, partake. Uh, if you have to speculate, I would say that he probably belonged to covert operations uh, for one or more um, nations, and that what we're looking at is a very strange, you can shake your head, Alan, but it's also the case that I don't necessarily believe that you stopped associating with him personally uh, at the time of his um, con conviction 
in Florida because uh, I think there are pictures of you at the um, Program for Evolutionary Dynamics uh, socializing with Pinker, Trivers. I don't know. You tell well, me. I'm going to have to go back to Alan Dershowitz on that. Alan Dershowitz, how well, do you respond? Well, well before that, uh, no, uh, he was not a member of it. It, it. it sort of doesn't matter, you know, because even if he stopped having um, a social relationship with Epstein, he still continued to represent him after the allegations. And I, I just don't know why you would do that when you're have the position that Alan Dershowitz does. I mean, does he need the fucking money? I mean, is that why? I mean, why the hell would he do that? That doesn't make sense because he's not a practicing criminal defense lawyer. He's a constitutional scholar. He, he, he's a professor at Harvard. He doesn't have a caseload like I do. He's not board certified in the area of criminal defense. The whole Epstein thing is so disgusting, you know, and what did he do? How did he earn his money? You know, there was he worked for some guy uh, early on, and rumor had it that he blackmailed him and stole like I don't know, like five hundred million from him or something like that, and that is how he he got his big nut. And uh, but what is the purpose of running a sex den of iniquity for all these high profile men? If you're gonna do it just for yourself. You know, I can understand that. I mean, I can not underage, but I could see, you know, if that's your deal, that's your deal. But there's only one reason to do it with powerful people all over the place. And that's to what? To blackmail them. And is they, are they part of a Mossad, part of a, some kind of covert operations for another country? I don't know. But we do know that Glenn Maxwell's father was connected to Mossad. But if so, why is she in prison? You know, and why, why did he get killed? Or why did he kill himself? You know, his brother suggests that he wasn't, um, it wasn't a suicide, it was a homicide. That aside, we're here because we're analyzing the documents, you know, in, that were recently released, about 1,300 pages. So, let's see, several key figures have been accused of misconduct, uh, like Prince Andrew, the <laughs> Duke of uh, Devonshire or York, whatever the fuck he is. So, Prince Andrew is accused of being in an underage orgy. And they, apparently there's a picture of him touching uh, a young gal's breast, and there's this incident where she's she grabs a puppet, I mean, <laughs> a puppet of Prince Andrew, and then uh, the he grabs the puppet and it looks just like me, and the puppet touches her breast, and he touches the other one with the other hand. I, you know, whatever. Uh, and uh, But keep in mind, Prince Andrew was sued. And as a result of that lawsuit, you know, he goes on. I mean, there, he, there's this picture of him with this young gal with his, with his arm around her. I mean, I, I mean, do you need more than that? I mean, that certainly corroborates that he was there. Certainly corroborates that he's touching a young girl. Certainly corroborates that he was in close proximity to her and makes her story more credible. And think about this. Think about these young ladies coming forward. How difficult it might be to be believed against these powerful men. I mean, it's absolutely fucking true that the power differential here is is staggering. And so so he, Prince Andrew settled his fucking case, and he lost his uh, his position in the royal family as in terms of doing, you know, appearances and whatever the hell the royal family does. I could again give a shit less because I'm an American. We don't believe in kings but uh, and princes. But he's lost his status. He lost his status, and he probably lost a shit ton of money. But he's named 67 times in, this, in these documents. Um, he, he, he stepped down from public life, and he paid millions to settle his civil lawsuit uh, with uh, Miss uh, Jufre. I think it's Jufre is how you pronounce that. Oh, and that was in, uh, that was in Epstein's the, uh, – so in her evidence uh, that, the, that the Duke oh, – fucking duck – the Duck of Duke – uh, touched her breast while they were uh, sitting on the couch inside Epstein's mansion in Manhattan in 2001 uh, when she was 17 years old. Maxwell took her upstairs to a closet uh, where they grabbed a puppet believed to be that of the Duke of Duck, uh, used to be the BBC's uh, satire spitting image of him, and it was placed uh, on uh, 
Jufre's breast at the time. It looked like him. Her evidence read that Maxwell brought it down and presented to him, and it was a great joke because apparently the production of the uh, it was a production from a show on BBC, and they decided to take a picture with it, in which Virginia and Andrew sat on the couch. And they put the puppet on Virginia's lap. I sat on Andrew's lap. And then they put the puppet uh, hand on Virginia's breast. And Andrew put his hand on my breast. And he's allegedly to take part in some other crap. So Now, uh, let's talk about Clinton. Uh, Bill Clinton, as we know, uh, is the ultimate presidential hound dog. Uh, you know, I mean, he did his thing with uh, uh, Monica Lewinsky. And he had uh, Jennifer Flowers. Is it really a stretch to think that he would go to uh, on the Lolita on the Lolita Express, Bill Clinton on the Lolita Express? That's like that's like poetry. I mean, kind of nasty, rotten poetry. But of course, of course, there's no no surprise there. Um, Epstein reported that uh, that uh, Schoberg, one of the other gals, uh, that the former president, now 77, uh, likes them young, referring to the young girls. Clinton claims his contact with Epstein was limited to four trips with staff uh, and two briefing meetings, but documents uh, yet to be released, reported, include claim that he has also attended Epstein's Island, which he denies. So there's more documents that are going to come out. So we'll continue to kind of analyze them. But apparently... Uh, Clinton abandoned Epstein in his, as an acquaintance in 2008 when he was uh, sent to jail for paying for a 14-year-old girl for sex. And how do you get 13 months for paying a 13, 14-year-old for sex? Those cases, there's in Minnesota, they, it's just increased. But it, there used to be a 12-year mandatory minimum. 12 years, not 12 months. And, and federally, you, tra- you traffic a, a minor uh, across state lines for prostitution. Guess what? You're going to prison for a long fucking time. Um, David Copperfield is supposedly uh, been there, but he, the only thing that's mentioned there is that uh, uh, Schoberg's testimony describes her as going to a dinner at one of Epstein's homes, which was attended by David Copperfield. She said uh, he performed magic tricks before asking if she was aware that girls were getting paid to find other girls. I find that kind of suspicious. I mean, if that's the only mention, how the fuck would he know that? I don't really care, though. And Stephen Hawking. You know who Stephen Hawking is. He is a GQ model and fitness... Uh, oh, wait, no, he's not. He, he is he's a physicist. According to the documents... Epstein uh, emailed Maxwell to deny claims that Hawking participated in an underage orgy. Now, here's a picture of Stephen Hawking. Now, imagine lathering him up with some oil and just going to town. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck? That's cruelty in and of itself to these young ladies. There's rumored to go to the uh, Freedom Makers, which was a swingers club, and he goes there with his fucking nurse. And But, you know, here's the thing. Honestly... If I'm sitting there trapped in my own skin and not being able to move or I have to just talk through a computer, I don't give a shit what you do. You get a pass from me, honestly. It's, you know, I mean, your life is hell. And he was just brilliant. But didn't he have like three wives or something? I don't know. But, I mean, that, that, that really is cruelty, adding cruelty to punishment. Or to, No, how does that go? Adding insult to injury or however you want to put it when you – force these girls to uh, rub down somebody that's like Stephen Hawking. They just, you know, in the first dump of documents, you're going to be a little disappointed because there's no smoking gun against anybody, really. And and so what? Let's say Stephen Hawking did uh, have an orgy with, you know, underage girls. He's dead. Nothing we can do about that, you know, except for sully his reputation and, and drag these girls through the mud whole idea of this whole operation the way it was set up you know it just seems to me to be so evil and I just this Jeffrey Epstein is just just seems to be so evil but I think you're going to get disappointed if, if you actually go through the documents and you can do that you can put them on Google Docs and you can put whatever name you want to put in there and there's Naomi Campbell is there I mean there are a lot of people who were there, but it doesn't mean they did anything. There are people that were there that did things for fucking damn sure. I mean, Clinton used his plane 26 times. And Epstein 
made sure that it was available to him. And, you know, the whole adage, you don't get something for nothing, there was something that everybody wanted. And Epstein got what he wanted. And did he die or was he killed? Um, a lot of mystery surrounding his death. You know, I mean, and think about it. If, if there was a, I mean, the cameras weren't working, the guards were sleeping, um, you know, the, uh, the ligature marks on his neck uh, and the injuries are more consistent, some say, with, uh, with uh, you know, a physical choking, petechiae in his eyes. That's, petechiae are little pinprick dots that are usually associated with asphy- asphyxiation either a compression of the chest or a compression of the neck, and it keeps the blood up in the area so it pops uh, your, the venules in your, in your eyes and, and your, around, your, around your eyes. The whole reason for these disclosures was because of um, you know, the lawsuit against Glenn Maxwell. And the, there's a holdout, Jane Doe number 107. She doesn't want things released, and and uh, but there some things more things are going to get released. I feel bad for anybody that was trafficked in this situation. I mean, you know, they didn't prey on wealthy girls. They didn't prey on people of privilege. They preyed on people who looked to them for uh, opportunity for uh, you know their next break or, or whatever. I mean, one of the gals they 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 promised to go take her to school you know for massage therapy and uh and then she finally wound up you know when she went to the school she said i'm not coming back and she was threatened you know i just fucking a can't you just screw normally can't you just get your rocks off in a normal fucking way you have to you know abuse people i i just don't i just can't even fathom that you know so if you're out there, and you know what, and these people, I, I'm just going to tell you this. This is my own opinion, but they're not fixable because you think about it this way. You get a predilection for a particular thing, this or that. That's, that's your flavor, right? And so if, you, if you're gay, you like other men. If you are, you know, some like brunettes and some like little kids. And I'm telling you, you can't fucking fix them. Go go to therapy, blah, blah, blah. Fuck that. You can't go to therapy and fix uh, that. I don't, you know, I don't like cranberries, you know. I, I fucking hate cranberries. Guess what? Uh, you can't make me like cranberries through therapy. You can't make these people not like what they like through therapy. You know, I know, I know there's a, it's a cottage industry, but I've seen it over and over and over again in the criminal system. And, you know, just protect yourself from these kinds of people. And this Jeffrey Epstein was just the predator beyond all predators. He was the most prolific and um, predatory person I think I've ever seen. So this has just been our reaction just to the initial document dump and uh, and the dump that I call Arnold Dershowitz. Um, I just think he protests too much, you know, way too much. I mean, he's associated with these people. He's, a, he's at a dinner with Bill Clinton, and then he badmouths Bill Clinton because of his association with Jeffrey Epstein, with whom he had his own personal relationship with and continue to represent him after the thing. Anyway, that's his own deal. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, sign up for, you know, and visit our sponsors, uh, Step One, and visit... Uh, esign.com. We'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. We love you. I'm part of Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That self snitching gon' get you put away. 23 hour lockdown, please is that my god.